Clemson basketball. His team has already banked four wins against high major teams. Of Clemson, they are a heavy help team, so you have to get a lot of cutting, a lot of screening, and just player movement and ball movement to create open shots. Paul, keys to the game today. Well, for Moorhead State, they have to limit their turnovers. They're averaging 18 a game, and Clemson gets some points from specialty areas. Transition from your defense, forcing turnovers, uh, second chance opportunities. Clemson cannot just rely on their half court sets. Transfer along with Johnny Newman, who had a promising sophomore year last year. Into the corner, the three is good by Jonathan Bear. Good ball movement here by Clemson. And they run a lot of movement, set plays with motion concepts. The freshman, PJ Hall. Post talent. You don't find those all around the country. Honor the hustle up ahead to Newman. One on three, blocked at the rim. Moorhead State wants them to beat him over the top. They go high-low. Bear to the freshman, P.J. Hall. Which Clemson goes to the wing, to the middle, right to the short corner. Ball never touches the ground. Excellent attack by the Tigers. And once you get it to the middle, guy fakes the <laughs> jump hooks, the up and unders. I'm telling you, he'll be all ACC by the time he's a junior. Three-pointer from straight away, Alamir Dawes. Brad Brownell told us as this season progresses, he'd like to play both P.J. Hall and Amir Sims together. Nice I move down low, it's Potter again, the right State transfer. Day after day, you're with the same people. Even when you travel, and when you travel, you, you're more confined than you are at home. And the players need a break from the coaches. When you go on the road now as the mid-major, you don't have to deal with the home crowd. You don't have to deal with the fan base yelling at you. You can concentrate on your game. How about the execution out of the timeout? Hunt on the drive, leaves it for Bryan and Moorhead State are with a two-point lead. Not allow that dribble penetration. Amir Sims out of the double team. It comes to Dawes. Hemingway, a sharpshooter, knocks down the three. He's got great passing vision, Amir Sims. Alamir Dawes to Bear, and that circles home. Simpson looking to add to a 7-0 run. Alamir Dawes, it's 10 unanswered for the Tigers. The Greenhorns need to take a little punishment from the veterans. Trap the steal, and the stuff. Alamir Dawes, the bank is open on a Monday morning. Bear in the high post, Sims now. Over Broom, yeah, that's the veteran punishing the Greenhorn. And block out, that's a big hole in a lot of zone defense. Bear just picked up the foul, and there's Davon Cooper. They have to get to the free throw line a little bit more, and they have to just drive people a little bit harder. Good position by Broom, he kicks it out. Potter hits the three. There's Hunter off the dribble drive. And the follow is good by Amir Sims. Bear with his size advantage, now the double. Out to Dawes. His fourth three. Spot for the high-low, it's a wonderful spot to get offensive rebounds and dump-offs. Off the feed from Dawes, Sims has a dozen. As they are on you and they're ready to help against you. Hunt into the corner and the three falls. Shot clock does not reset. Hunt beats the shot clock and gets the roll. By Moorhead State, pays off. Open three by Nick Honor, yes, the Fordham transfer. Averaged 15 a game for the Rams a couple of years ago. Hunt beats the shot clock and gets it to go. 
Honor open and hits. I'm telling you, this guy will shoot it all game long if you let him. In trying to get some of these higher end freshmen, I think it's a combination of both. I think Brad Brunell understands another three by Nick Honor. They'll have a one-time transfer where they can play in. I think we're going to see a lot of people moving and shaking on the rosters. Movers and shakers there. Honor with a sweet feet. Face to face time. You see the body language, the mannerisms. Uh, I, I think we're going to see some extra transfers. Another shot by Nick Honor. I, I don't buy into virtual recruiting. I understand it, but there's nothing like getting face to face with parents and players and coaches. Skyler Potter on the drive. Lost it. Talon Cooper's three is good. Now this team is picked for ninth in the OVC, Moorhead State. Clemson has dropped out of the top 25. Not a single ACC team in the top 15. I don't think that number is going to change much in ACC action. May go up a little bit. But if the Tigers can hit that 65 plus mark, they're going to win a lot of games. The best high school coaches in the country. Inside, it's Broom. Jay Hall is going to be a fantastic player here at Clemson. I really do. His offense is, is much better than we'll see early in his career. Uh, home court advantage out the window this season. It's a level playing field. Clemson wins by an even 15. The Tigers do it with three-point shooting and defense.